I received a camera called Beagle for monitoring 3D printers from the company Mintion. The package contains, in addition to the camera, two USB cables, a power supply that delivers an output voltage of 5V at up to 1 Ams, a microSD card and a needle to operate the reset switch. A printed quick start guide is also included. High resolution photos of the contents of the package... ...the camera... ...and its inner components can be seen on the website of how open is this gadget. If the camera is configured properly and the power supply is plugged in, the watchdog automatically connects to the stored VLAN which is confirmed by voice output. Successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. Now a computing device in the same network, such as a laptop, can be connected to the camera. If the IP address of the camera is entered in a browser, the interface can then be accessed. There is also an app for smartphones, but if you can do the same with open source software, that's all the better. The live image from the camera can be seen in the main window. In the simplest case, the Beagle functions as a remote monitor for everything covered by the lens. The camera focus can be adjusted after opening the housing. The more the lens is screwed out, the closer the focus point moves to the camera. If the ambition light is lowered, the camera switches to night vision at a certain threshold. The transmitted image becomes black and white but still shows good contrast, even in low light conditions. The main purpose of the Beagle camera is to remotely monitor and also control a 3D printer. To do this, camera and printer have to be connected via a USB cable. The Beagle can only connect to 3D printers running the firmware Marlin, shown here with an Artillery Genius Pro. Once connected, a G-code file for a print job can be sent from the laptop to the camera and from the camera to the printer. The heating of print bed and hot end can be observed via the interface. Once this is done, the print job starts. The printer can be observed from afar in the video window whenever there is access to the network in which the Beagle camera is located. This can be done via a virtual private network from any point of the planet with internet connection. Even tuning some parameters is possible via remote control. For example, the temperature of the print bed or hot end can be readjusted or the power of the part cooling fan can be set. The I don't care where my data goes fraction can of course do all this with the closed source app. If something goes wrong, the print can be paused or even cancelled. The laptop or smartphone does not have to be connected to the camera all the time. Only the Beagle camera has to be in constant operation and the connection to the printer via USB cable must not be interrupted while the job is running. 
The integrated function for recording time-lapse videos is a feature for playing around. If this is activated, the camera takes one photo after each printed layer. The printhead and the y-axis are moved to the endpoints to give the camera a clear view on the print. The Beagle camera automatically inserts the appropriate commands into the G-code file. However, this does not work with all slicing software. My favorite slicer was not in the list at the time the video was recorded. I had to work with a different program. In this mode, printing is a little slower and there can also be slight differences in terms of print quality due to the short interruptions. As said before, this function was programmed for the video artists and game kids among you, not for better printing results. However, a time-lapse video can be helpful in narrowing down errors during a failed print job. Here are the video sequences I recorded while printing components for a strain wave gear. High resolution photos of the camera, the Beagle's inner components and more info are available on the website of how open is this gadget. There you will also find my comments on the openness of the gadget and the software required for operation. Thanks for watching and I'll be back!